<laughs> Two of you podcast coming at you with another video. I recently saw this question posed by an individual. They were curious to know how much should their hands and arms move when they are leading. They were curious to know how much arm and hand movement is too much. I would love to hear from you. Well, what are your thoughts and opinions on this? I want to start by saying that if your arm movement supports the body movement, then this is fine and also recommended. But your body movement needs to come first. You do not want washing machine arms or wax on wax off hands. That is a no, no. Your arm movement originates from your body movement. Please keep this in mind. As long as you're not leading anything, then you can keep your arms relaxed and your elbows next to your body, just in front of your rib cage with your forearms horizontal. Your body and shoulders are moving with the music and your arms are following this movement. They should not be moving independently too much. When you are leading something, you might have to stiffen up your frame a bit and even then, it will largely depend on what you are trying to lead. As I said before, you should not be dancing with your arms. It's almost always confusing and it doesn't help. Your arms are for leading and in a handhold position, if you move them, then that means you are asking or suggesting that the follower do something. If you are moving them around too much, it becomes confusing for your follower because it's too many signals that she's trying to comprehend. Give the follower some tension in your arms, but do not be rigid. You want to have some flexibility. This, there is a middle ground that you must find. I understand how confusing that may be, but if you can not imagine this, your arms are never in one state. They are always in this transitory state between fluid and tense. They are never 100% loose, think noodle arms, and they are also never 100% strict and tense. They're always in this state of flow. I suspect that the influence of the washing machine arms and the wax on, wax off hands, I suspect this is from people watching advanced dancers and imitating their movements without understanding how to truly generate the movement. I would suggest that you try and be cognizant of who you let influence you. And what I mean by this is, yes, of course, the flashy dancers, they look amazing. What you see on Instagram, YouTube, social media, the performative dance, it looks absolutely beautiful. But I would say the real good dancers are the ones who are very simplistic in nature and they make it look easy. The dance doesn't look difficult or forced. The follower and the lead are both cool, calm, and collected. It's as if they've been dancing with each other for a lifetime. This is the style I personally try to emulate because as a lead, I think it puts the follower at ease. I'm naturally a lazy guy and I hate to sweat on the dance floor. So I want to make my follower feel at ease with me. I want her to make sure that she's comfortable with me. Please do not confuse this calm nature with a boring dance. I'll happily let another lead do the social media performance on the dance floor. I'll be here cool as a cucumber, not trying to break a sweat. Last but not least, I want to say that it is best when the motion in your body is natural and not deliberately forced or added in. The problem with some leads is that they start to perform to other leads and they forget what they should be doing. And what they should be doing is dancing with their partner. Some leads also forget to dance at their partner's level. So always just try to keep these things in mind. These are just my thoughts and opinions on this topic. I would love to hear from you all. Thank you so much.